this is the TCAP practice test for grade 8. Uh, the math one, obviously. Uh, number 44. 44 says, uh, it gives me two givens, the f of x and the g of x. And it says, what is the solution to f of x is equal to g of x? The important part is that we're setting them equal to each other. So we're just going to create an equation for ourselves. Where I set them equal to each other. I'm going to draw a line down the middle there. Kind of fix that 8 because that's pretty hideous. Now, uh, I need to get x by itself here. There's a, by the way, there's a, a nice way you can substitute the answers in. So, say I had the same thing. I'm just going to add this as an addendum to the original statement. If I put parentheses around where the x was supposed to be, And I just plug in my answer choices. So say I plug in negative 30 here. So it looks like this. If I type in all this side and it hit, gives me a number, so I type in uh, 2.4 plus 0 0.4 times negative 30, and that gives me, when I hit in equals negative 9.6, I type in uh, on the other side of the equation of the equal sign, I type in 0.28 times negative 30 minus 12, or 1.2, I'm sorry, 1.2. It gives me negative 9.6. See how they're equal to each other? If they're equal to each other, the answer is uh, whatever number that you plugged in. And if the first one didn't work, you would just keep going forward until you got the answer. I just wanted to show you that as a possible way that you could go about solving it. That's substituting. But I'm going to erase it real fast, and we're going to talk about solving it the other way, which is to make an equation, which might have more value to you when you get outside of the realm of a multiple choice test. Uh, in this uh, situation, I have a variable term on both sides, so I need to get them together. We, in my class, we call this pork chops and applesauce. So I'm going to move either the 0.4x or the 0.28x. And I'm going to move 0.28x. In order to get rid of plus 0.28x, I need to subtract. Now, you may be thinking in your head, well, what about that minus sign right there? Doesn't that make it negative 0.28x? Absolutely not. It does not. Uh, numbers are kind of like people who, like a guy who would ask a girl to a prom every week, and she says no, or ask her out. Janine, will you go to the prom with me? No. Janine, will you go to the prom with me? No. Janine, will you go to the prom with me? No. Every week, he just can't see that he's failed. So a, a number can't see the sign after it. It doesn't see what happened in the past. So if something is after a number, it doesn't affect it. So this negative means nothing, or this minus, I should say. So this is really a plus... 0.28. In order to get rid of plus 2.28, I need to subtract 0.28x. And I'm going to subtract it from the negative 0.4x. Don't subtract it from the other thing. One has x's and one doesn't. It's like apples and oranges. You, th you, can, you can subtract as many oranges from apples as you want, but it doesn't make any sense to do it. So 0.4 minus 0.28 gives you 0.12x. And I need to bring down everything else. Make sure you bring down your negative here. That's important. Uh, now, when I get rid of uh, plus 2.4, I need to subtract 2.4. I got lucky there. I kind of wrote it in a weird order, and it almost made a mess. Uh, now, I've got 0.12x uh, equals negative 3.6. This is 0.12 times x, so I need to divide to get rid of it. Sorry, I was typing in my calculator and typed something really weird. So try not to be like me and actually uh, type your answer in correctly. So x is equal to negative 30. So there's a couple ways that you can do it. One's really helpful if you have multiple choice and kind of useless otherwise. And uh, the other is sort of a, a, a more functional method that you can use more often.